well, good afternoon. So we go from rain and cold in the 40s and a hard frost to hot and have to put black puppies in the shade, so sorry. Uh, we left them a little bit in the sun. Hopefully they'll play out there. This is Windy Hill Kennel. We are located in central Ohio. And if you're seeing this for the first time on YouTube, this litter is sold. If you are interested in a schnoodle, please go to our website and see the expected litter page. We will be posting on November 1st all the dogs that will have spring puppies. So let's get started. Um, Patty's kids are like crazy. Uh, these guys are, there's nine of them and they just had their six week shot this week. So that's finished. And they are like, we're gonna leave them out here while we go to lunch. They need to play and run off some energy. We have started to wean them. Patty is to the point where she's like, looks at us and says, do I really have to? And she also runs and hides. So that's like, okay, people, I can't tell you, but it's time. So we have started taking puppies away from her. Uh, so I'm gonna go down through the wait list. I will try and keep them on the screen for you. I can't look at them and do my list at the same time. So I'm gonna try and find a general place that there's several and just stay there. <laughs> so the light blue collared male is six pounds, six ounces, 30601. Number two is the neon orange puppy. It's a female, five, five pounds, 15.5. Oh, I got a, something in my neck, sorry. <sighs> Someone's crawling up my neck. Um, and she's a black and she's 30, 3605 is her number. Uh, number three is the neon green female. Her collar is, or well, her collar is neon green. I know that doesn't have to be said. Um, five pounds, 7.5, 30604. And royal blue collar male, six pounds, 11.5, 60609. The red collar female, five pounds, 10.5 ounces, is a blue merle. The yellow collar female, four pounds, 11.5, is a black 60603. The forest green collar in here is a male, five pounds, six ounces, it's a blue merle. Neon pink, and please, whoever owns the neon pink, don't be mad at me. Her pictures came out terrible, and then I actually deleted the ones I wanted to use, and I have to reshoot them, but today, I'm not going to be able to, I don't think. I'm going to promise I'll try, but Ginger is having her puppies today. So, as soon as I get this done, I'm going right back in the house on maternity watch. Um, but the neon pink female is 6 pounds, 6 ounces, 30602, and I promise I'll get her updated. Uh, the purple collared female is 5 pounds, 2.5, 30606 is the number. All right, let me get rid of the book. Okay, so what can I tell you? I am sending out your videos today, but not until tonight, once I get these puppies delivered. So, uh, and if it gets really hot this afternoon and we run out of stuff we can do, the girls can do, I'll have somebody be on maternity watch and I will send out the emails. So uh, you're gonna get two emails. One of them has all the videos, and the other one is your vitamin information. So um, please take a look at the videos. Write down any questions I did not answer for you. For those of you that are using a uh, transport service for your puppy, uh, call me, and we'll go over any of your questions. I wish they'd go in the sun, but I know it's hot on them. They, they stay in the shade as much as possible. And if you do live in a hot area, please be sensitive about their coats. With these black coats, it's like you putting on a sweatsuit and going out and standing in the sun. So, and you can see them all gravitate over here to the shade. But they're all doing great. Um, no issues at all. They've had all their worming for their six week worming is also done. Right now we're just waiting on them to grow. Let me see if I can brighten this up. It's probably going to bleed out on you in the sun, but I brightened it up a little bit for the shade. Sibling squabbery. All right. I don't know if I can find collars or not, but I'll sure try. And if I miss somebody, please don't be mad at me. 
Neon Pink is trying to jump on the bed. One, two, three, come on. There she goes. Neon Pink is on the bed and off the bed. Uh, I don't know who's getting down. Their hair is so long, I can't see collars. I wish I could. It's so hard when you have all black, pretty much a black litter, to catch collar colors. Yellow, okay, I just spotted yellow. Yellow is the last little puppy right there running towards us. That is the yellow collar one right at noon. Now it's on the bottom of the squabble. The darker mole is on top of that squabble. Turquoise is on the bottom. He just lost and got up and went away. The nice thing with Schnoodle, oh, that's me, I'm thinking again. The nice thing with Schnoodles is they really don't fight. They'll squabble like brothers and sisters. And then it's like, okay, I'm done. And then they walk away. If these were Schnauzer puppies, oh, they would tear each other's face off. They're bad. Schnauzer puppies, they fight like crazy. In fact, if I had Schnauzer puppies that were the same age as these guys, I really could not put them in here with them to play because they are aggressive as puppies. Neon green is right there. I just spotted the collar. That's neon green. There it is. You got a quick glimpse. Um, and then, like I said, the darker Merle is over here squabbling with everybody. There's the darker Merle. Where's the lighter Merle? The lighter Merle is right there. He's different. He is not a, he's not a, uh, instigator. And he's not a join in on the, the fights. And he's more, uh, I just want to stand over here and watch. I don't really want to get in on this. But he does love to play with them, but he kind of shies away from the arguments that they have. Uh, where's somebody else's collar? Turquoise, I just spotted. Purple is trying right there. The little one on the, the little squabble's over, and then I'll tell you. Okay, the little one is walking away. She is the little one right there. That's the purple collar. Who have I missed? I know I've missed a collar somewhere. We got a royal blue, but I think that's on the one of the, the merles. No, the red collar is the merle. He's right there. I don't know about you guys, but I got leaves coming out the wazoo right now. It's terrible. The girls hate it because they all our kennel is lined by a woods behind it, and we all hate the winter because we have to take down the tents for the kennel. So those are all gone. No tents now till summer. Uh, the leaves fill the kennels, and we're always blowing the leaves. And there's 185 foot of outdoor kennels that are 10 by 30. And I think there's like, I don't know, 13 kennels. So, there's more than that. I think there's 15 or 16 kennels. I don't know. But anyway, oh, they're listening to the chickens. You can probably hear that too. That means she laid an egg. She's thrilled with herself. She's letting us know that she just laid an egg. They all do that. So they're wondering why they can't get to the chickens. That's funny. They're looking over there to see what are they doing. They're all quiet. Look at that. The chickens quieted them down. Uh, let's see. So a lot of you, you know I'm in a good position this morning to show you. When you come up my driveway, you're going to see employees' cars sitting right there. Please don't park there. Come on over, and that last door over there that's open in the big tree, that's the kennel door that goes into the grooming area and all the puppies. So when you come, and there'll be two empty flower pots there too, come clear over on that side of the driveway. Don't park where you see the employees' cars park. There might only be one or two there, but don't park there, because if the weather's bad, you're gonna hate it. So come on over and park under that tree on the back of the garage. All right, uh, what else can I tell you? I think we have five of these guys are in the house. The other four are down here still with Patty. And they'll slowly come up till they're all away from her probably by Saturday, maybe Sunday. Um, I want to make sure that she's pretty much dried up. But I wouldn't want all these coming at me to, to nurse if I was her. I mean, good golly. They, are a, they got a full set of chompers. And I'm really, I wish it wasn't so, I might get on this side and shoot a little bit. You might be able to see a little bit better. I've got it lightened up for you. Oops, I just darkened it accidentally. So in the house, we are going to work on no bark, no bite, and no lick. 
That is all that I teach them when they're here. And to me, that's the most of the three most important things. That was the neon pink taking the the unfinished jump to make it up. Oh, she... Ah, bad dismount. If you were watching that neon pink on the bed, she did a head roll when she got off the bed. <laughs> so, um... I'll tell you how we do it when you get here. Uh, it's not hard. You have to be on all of your household on the same page. These guys are big enough that if you have little toddlers, they are going to want to chew on your toddler. Because as you can see, they play with their mouth. Um, and they're going to want to play with your toddler that way. So if you have a little toddler that can't defend themselves, you need to defend them from the puppy because these are big enough to put holes in their skin. They can tear their arm if they bite on their arm. That's too dark. And you can stop that in the first two days. You really can. Um, the biggest thing too, they have to chew. So you wanna really, really make sure that you establish a good chewing uh, routine for them, like raw bones, uh, bully sticks, Stay away from raw hides. Oh my golly, those are the worst things in the world you can buy. The dingo bones. Don't buy the dingo bones. And if you have questions, some of that will be answered on the video I'm sending you. Some of them, you're, they're not. And if you want to rack my brain when you get here, just bring your questions. But, um, I mean, for all our general purpose is raw bones are phenomenal. I do not do a lot of snacks and treats here. Um, if you're going to buy treats, make them all natural, make them super tiny. And I, I mean, I've pushed Charlie bears for years. I should get a cut of the, I should get free Charlie bears to hand out. But Charlie bears, I, you know, in our opinion, and we use them here, are the best treats you can buy. There's only three calories. There's no fat in them, and they look like little oyster crackers. You can keep them in your pocket all, all day. Dang, gone. I had a wasp to go by my ear. Sorry, I had to swat it. Um, they're going to follow me, aren't they? Yep, they're going to follow me. All right, I'll just back up. I got too close to the kennel. Now I'm on the wrong side of the sun. Let me move back over, and here they all come. I was trying to keep the fence out of the picture, but it didn't work. Um, but Charlie bears are really good. Uh, they're hard to find. And I'm not a big advocate of Chewy.com. I know a lot of people use it and love it, and that's great. But I know that nothing is shipped for free. So I just, and their dog food is a lot more expensive than buying it in the store. But I know it's a lot more convenient for people, especially with COVID. So don't feel guilty if, if you use uh, Chewy.com. If it keeps you out of the store and you feel that it's safer for you, then by all means, do that. Um... Speaking of dog food, if you are needing dog food and you want to stay on the same thing that these guys are on right now, uh, oh, I'm chasing the bug, then the best thing I can tell you is we do have, I think I bought two extra ton of dog food, uh, enough to get me through the winter if they shut down the state again, and enough that if you guys all want a bag, you're welcome to that. You do not have to let me know. So, uh, when you come, just, you know, or you can text me and say, hey, um, stick a bag with my stuff when I pick it up. Or just ask me, because it's all right inside the groom room when you come. Uh, they have been fed free choice, which means I have never taken their food away from them except to do this video. Their food is in a large bulk feeder on their kennel door. They eat whenever they want. They eat as much as they want. But the glory of it is they do not overeat when they're um, started out that way as a puppy or we're spinning the ball. So we can all chat about that when you come. I'm about out of time. I got to get off of here or it's going to shut me off automatically at 15 seconds and won't let me put it on. See, he's laying over here all chilled out. He's like, nobody's bothering me. I'm on the leaves. So have a great day, a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Uh, I know we're going to see many of you soon and have a great week. Talk to you later.